What's up everyone, Zeno here. If you're like me and prefer high quality experience of Blu-ray rips stored on your NAS or hard disk drive over streaming services like Netflix or Disney Plus, then you're in for a treat. Because today we're continuing our discussion on Rvolution, but this time we're focusing on its use with the Rvideo media player on Windows or Mac PC. So if you haven't already watched the full review video of the Rvolution Player 1 8K, check out the video link in the description as soon as possible. Now let's find out more. Okay, before we install our video for Windows, let's check out the website quickly. I'll leave the link in the description, so head over to it and you'll be taken to the homepage. You can see all the information of the media player of the R Solution, and after that you want to click on our video. So you have multiple options right here because you can actually get a subscription if you don't have an Arvolution device. Add subscription, you can get it for the Zapiti players, which are not supported anymore, unfortunately. So you can still make it work with the RF video. Unfortunately, if you don't have an Arvolution player, then you'll need to pay for the subscription $5.99 per month or 50 euro per year. But of course, if you have the Arvolution player, it's totally free and included. That being said, let's go to our video and you'll see the overview. Our video is the media center hub you'll get in the Rvolution media players. But here comes something very cool because our video you can actually download and install it on Windows or Mac PCs. By doing this, you'll enable the software directly on your Windows PC or Mac, and you can actually go ahead and use our video directly. This is very helpful. I've been using it for a while now, for a couple of weeks, and I'm very impressed because you can hop over on your Windows PC and you can launch our video and you can see all your collections, either it's on your NAS. Windows PC or on the Rvolution part disk bay right here. You can access it all so you can edit the covers, the background and much, much more. You can identify collections or edit them. So that's pretty cool. And I'm going to walk you through on how to get it. And before I start the downloading process, I just wanted to share one more thing and that's called our share. And what our share potentially does is it shares any movie collection that you have downloaded or installed directly on the internal bay of the hard disk drive of your Rvolution media player, it can share it with other Rvolution devices in your home network. So that means you can share four movies directly, simultaneously from your Rvolution internal bay to four other Rvolution media players in your home network. And you can also share it with a Windows or Mac PC. That being said, um, I'm very curious if we can also use this as a NAS in the future, I hope we can. That would be pretty awesome. Going further, I guess there's nothing left for us to do than uh, head over to the download section and start downloading our video. So let's start the downloading process. Go to the homepage, click on download and click on our video for PC and Mac. Here you can click on our video for Windows and it will start downloading. So head over to your download folder and double click on the folder and double click to start the installation process of our video. Click next and choose your preferred installation location, accept the terms, and it will start the installation process and it's done very quickly. Now let's hit finish and let's open it up for the first time. It does that automatically. So after installation, you do have to log in with your R video or your Rvolution account that you've hooked up with a token underneath. I was expecting for me to re-log in, um, but that's not the case. Uh, less work for me though. It also loads up all the collections I have right here in our video for my Rvolution player. You practically don't have to do anything as you can see. Uh, if you're installing it for the first time, you only have to log in with your Rvolution R video account. I didn't remember my password. It was very easy to do forget password and get a password token in your email. So that's it. You're already good to go and to enjoy our video directly on Windows. This is Windows, by the way. This is not my Rvolution device. This is our video on Windows directly. So that's pretty cool. So the first thing I did when I entered this application right now is remove my ugly ass face so you get a better view of it. And the second thing I did is remove the sound because it also plays the trailer sounds. So let's go ahead and check it out. What are the possibilities? On your left side, you'll have home, you have options, you have search, you have all your collections, movies, TV shows, which I don't have, recent categories. I really like this overview, by the way. Next, top movies, Sega's, seen, unseen, 
current and personal videos. So again, I've used this for a couple of weeks now, but I've reset it a few times to uh, get a better overview for you guys. And going back to the home menu, let's just do a walkthrough of how everything looks like. So you can use the keyboard to go left or right or your mouse. You can see that this is a saga right here. We hit enter and we'll be taken right here. In here, we'll have also more options we can change. So if I don't want poison ivy with this cover right here, just right click on it, go to modify and click change the picture. And then you'll get all the options and backgrounds. So one tip that I would like, like what improvement, what I would love is that we'll have an OK button right here. Because if I want to change both like this and the background, I'll have to go back here and go back here and change the picture and select this one. It will just save me a few seconds of time. I would like that to be seen like that, but that's just my personal opinion, of course. Let's continue. Next thing I want to mention is if you want to play a movie, click on it and click on it one more time. And it's going to open up automatically VLC player if you have VLC player installed or any other player you have set as default. So you can see it will play automatically the movie on your Windows PC, um, even if it's installed on the NAS or on the Arvolution. You can check if the cover is the correct movie. That's where it comes in handy. Going back, let's hop over. In the movie collection, you will see all the icons right here. You will see it as Dolby Digital, Dolby 3 Atmos, UHD, Dolby Vision, HDR10. One thing I would absolutely love is if these icons can be more official like Dolby Digital right here and perhaps a bit bigger. Going further, you can see all the actors, categories and directors just like how you're seeing it on the Revolution. Pressing escape, you'll hit return, escape one more time and you'll be taken right back in this menu. So you can scroll through movies really quickly as you can see, that goes really fast. Uh, we can go to all, let it load up everything and also here you can scroll pretty fast through your collection. We'll have more options if you want. Just right click with your mouse and you'll have folder management. So these are the folders I have connected right here. You'll have settings. We can set languages and all other settings we can set directly on the Arvolution device. We can also set them right here. How cool and amazing is that? Subtitles you can manage through here. Um, our account, our uh, token management, we can remove the token and reset it if you want to resell our device. And there's more because right click on your mouse again, you can scroll through all these settings right here. Exactly the same way you can do on the Arvolution device. Going further, we can select appearance of covers. So if I don't want the top banner, you can remove that. If you want, if you want to see allowed to children, you can turn that either on or off and we can turn on groups and viewing status. So. I'll leave that all on, but you can choose your own preferences. Going further, we'll have a lot of options right here. You can start identification. So this is perhaps the most interesting part for if you want to use this on your Windows PC. You want to go ahead and identify movies quickly without the remote control, but directly on your window. So as you can see, I have 29 to identify. Let's click on it and we can see right here, the matrix reloaded needs to be identified. Let's click play and it's going to start up the movie. There you go. So this is going to be the movie from 2003. I'm not going to play it for you guys and check if it's correct. I'm just going to go ahead and let's click on identify. Let's change the name right here. Hit enter. No results found. Let's remove the year. And there you go. The matrix reloaded 2003. Let's click on it. And how much fun is this actually? You can just hop on your PC, do some work, identify some collections you still have. And there you go. So we got Magic Mike right here. Um, you can hit play, you can hit identify or create without identifying. Let's identify and let's remove all this. Hit enter, no results found. Remove the year and there you go, Magic Mike. Ah, uh, for the sexy ladies right there. Let's go ahead and continue. Um, so we've got here Super Mario Bros. from 1993. Let's see if it can uh, identify that one right there. I'm gonna remove everything except the year. It, okay, just like the others, we'll need to have or keep the year. And there you go, Super Mario Bros. 1993. And there we have it. So that's how easy and awesome this is, okay? Uh, let's continue and let's find Super Mario Bros. And there you have it already. Let's uh, right click on it and hit change the picture. 
So that's the identification part. That's really easy and quickly done. Next thing I want to show is more options right here. We can go to information. We can do collection statistics exactly the same way on your Revolution Media Player device. You can see it on your Windows or Mac PC. Um, you can see the sagas, categories, etc., etc. Hitting escape will be returning back. Going back to information, you can see cache management. And here you'll see all the footage that we have. So I wouldn't touch this. I will just leave it like this. And lastly, going to information. If you have an Arvolution NAS, you can see all the details right here. So another awesome feature is whenever you're tired of a movie, you've seen it too many times, or you don't have enough space left on your disk or your Arvolution drive, you can right click right here. We can go to modify and we can click delete. So now we can either delete it from our video or delete it directly from disk. Keep in mind, if you choose to delete the file from disk, it will be permanently removed. So be careful right there. And there's more. We can also add uh, or edit related categories. So here we can select if it's comedy or not, or crime. And it will ask you if you want to confirm the changes. Let's just uh, confirm. And you can also associate soundtrack and you can open music and you can change the soundtrack to any preferred music file you have. So you have a lot of freedom in our video and that's the same case with um with images if i want to change the image it says right here get from computer so i can just do any random picture of myself if i want that's possible right here on the our video app on your windows or mac pc and i guess i've done a showcase of everything right here if you believe that i've forgotten something please let me know in the comment section so before we end this video i just want to share with you guys if you haven't the full review video i will leave the link in the description and i also want to share with you guys i did not get paid for any of these videos i did however receive the player one 8k and i'm allowed to keep it but i'm not getting paid for any sales made and since i'm not getting paid for any sales made my honest opinion it is worth every penny this device right here but it is a high-end device that means if you have the cash flow for it if you have the money for it and you like watching local movies 100 is worth every penny if you don't have that amount of cash then that's totally fine stick with a streaming device like the own or the fire stick or the google tv chromecast or even the nvidia shield if you have that instead that's totally fine this however is a high-end product you can't compare it with a streaming device like any of the ones i just mentioned keep that in mind and I've seen a lot of comments below that they compare it with an own that's only $30 or a Fire Stick. It's two different platforms. They're totally not the same and they're not used for the same use case. That being said, if you think and if you believe that this device is the right device for you, you can order one directly from their website. I will also share the link in the description. And if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about it. Thank you all for watching and don't forget, I'll see you in the next one.